greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Apostle Shirley Mlanyani from El Shaddai Kingdom Purpose Ministries. I welcome you um, to this recording. I welcome your heart. I welcome you in your focus. And it is my prayer that right now you may listen to this message with all of your heart and seeking understanding seeking the wisdom of God, seeking to hear what God has to say to you. Um, this moment, the, mo the message I would like to share with you is, what time is it? You know, everything is based on time. Everything is seasonal. There is nothing that we do outside of time. If you make an appointment to meet with somebody at 10 o'clock, You've got to be there at 10 o'clock. If you arrive at 1 o'clock or one hour later, the chances are you're not going to have that meeting. So everything is about time. And even right now in your life, you need to understand what time is it in your life? What time is it? What are you supposed to be doing with your life? Sometimes in life we want to control our lives the way we desire and with the way we want. And maybe up to now you have been in control of your own life you've been doing things your own way and you have understood what's happening in your life and what's going on but all of a sudden you have hit a dead end you don't understand what's going on in your life what's hap what's happening where are you in your life which way to go and you have come to a place where you just don't understand what are you supposed to be doing? What are you supposed to be planning? Right now is the time for you to understand that it is no longer your time frame that is at play. It's now God's time frame. We have been living our lives according to humans' time zone. Now it's time to step into God's time zone. And when I say time, God's time zone, what I mean is it's time to understand God's mindset. It's time to understand God's opinion concerning your life. We are here. We are understanding our lives the way we were taught, the way we were brought up, the way we studied, the way we have picked up from our peers, our friends, our loved ones. But now is a, a very important time to shift because God has shifted a lot of things. Your life is not where it used to be. It's time for you to understand the timing of God. And the timing of God right now is, it's time for a relationship with God. It's time for you to build an intimate, close relationship with God. I would like to talk about a story in the Bible. It's actually a parable that Jesus Christ uh, told to people that had come and they, they had gathered to come and listen to him. It's about the prodigal son. The reason I speak about this story is because I do believe that each one of us, we, we have a yearning for, for something, something deep, something personal. We have a desire for something that sometimes we can't even understand what it is that we're looking for. And in, inside of us, each one of us, God has created us with a desire for Him. We all desire for God. We, we want God. We desire to have a relationship with God. But sometimes we don't understand that desire. We think that it's a, it's a desire for something else. Sometimes the desire for God, if it's not understood that it is a desire for God, we can understand it or translate it as a desire for certain things that are in the natural. We start chasing after a promotion. You start chasing after a job. You start chasing after something that is in the natural, that you are in need of in the natural. Meanwhile, what you are really looking for is the presence of God. Within each one of us, God has created us with a deep desire, a deep yearning for the presence of God. Sometimes we chase after many things. Meanwhile, the only thing that we're looking for is to have a relationship with God. So right now, that is what I am bringing you to that time zone, a season 
where you start to pursue God as opposed to pursuing other things that are that are worthless to that cannot even satisfy you many of us we have chased after things where you are currently you might have chased for a promotion now you have arrived at the promotion only to realize that the promotion is not even giving this the satisfaction or the fulfillment that you've been looking for maybe you've been chasing for a marriage you now you are married you have settled down Maybe you've been chasing for a child. Now you've got a child. Now all of a sudden you realize that what you have been chasing after is not even giving you the satisfaction that you've been looking for. You don't even have the fulfillment of, of, from that thing that you've been chasing after. Then what do you do? You don't give up. I'm here to encourage you that what you've been looking for is actually God. You've been chasing after God. You've been looking for God in different things that are a need in your life. But what you've been really chasing after is God. You see, God has got a love, a love that heals, a love that solves every and each problem that we have as humanity. That love is the kind of love that when you experience it, it is the kind of love that heals you. It picks you up from your broken place. It puts you together. That is the kind of love that you and I are looking for. We are chasing after many things, but what we really need is God and the love of God. That love is the love that will set you free from anything that binds you. It's the kind of love that will satisfy you and fulfill you in such a way that when you step into a relationship, you are not going to settle for less. Why? Because you already have, you are fulfilled and you are satisfied in the love of God. Many people are in relationships, not because they want to be in those relationships. They know that those relationships are not good for them. But they are in those relationships simply because they are hoping to find that satisfaction, that fulfillment from that relationship. Some people are in jobs. Some people are chasing after businesses. Some people are chasing after certain things that they've identified as things that they desire in their lives. But when at the end of it all, when you have arrived at that place where you thought you will find the satisfaction and the fulfillment, you only find disappointment. I want to encourage you. This moment, as you listen to this message, search your life. Where you are, are you really satisfied? Are you really happy? Are you really fulfilled? Maybe it's a, a temporary fulfillment. Maybe you're satisfied just for a moment. But how long are you going to be satisfied? How long is that job going to fulfill you? Come back. Come back to what really matters to you. Your heart yearns for God and God knows that. You know it too. You want God. You need God. Your desire is for God. The Bible says in Luke chapter 15, verse 17, read it for yourself. It talks about a story about a young man who decided that he wanted to go on his own and take his inheritance from his father and go to a faraway country. And when he went there, he, things did not work out the way he expected. Just like many of us, we, we want to, to design our lives the way we desire, but only to be disappointed because life does not turn out the way we expected. Just like this young man, things did not turn out the way he expected. And he found himself needed, needing to find a solution in his life. And he found himself surrendering himself to a job to feed pigs. He was so hungry. He was at the end of his road, at his wit's end. And he found himself wanting to eat with the pigs. But the Bible says in Luke 15, verse 17, the young man came back to his senses. This moment, just like that young man, I am inviting you to come back to your senses, but not just any senses. Come back to your spiritual senses. Come back to recognize that you are not just a mere human being. You are not just a person that was randomly 
given an opportunity to live. You are a spirit being. You belong to God. In you, God created you to be like him, to look like him, sound like him. You, you are supposed to, to, to operate and to function like God. Within you, there is God. I am inviting you to come back to your spiritual senses. Come back to who you really are. You've been operating and functioning as something else. Like just like this young man, he went to a faraway country. In that faraway country, he adopted the way they were doing things in that faraway country. But it did not for long, he found himself stranded and stuck. You might be stuck in your lifestyle. You might be stuck in something that you thought would work for you. God is saying, come back. It's time for a relationship with God. As I said, what time is it? It's time for you to come back to that relationship with God. It's time for an intimacy, affectionate relationship with God that is full of love. A deep bond that is personal and very close. Many things that you are trying to hold on to are not going to give you the satisfaction that you're looking for. You are not going to find the fulfillment that you're looking for. What you're really looking for is God. You are looking for your father. We are all born from our mothers and fathers. We know them, we grew up with them. But at some point, we all need to understand that we belong to God. I invite you, wherever you are, whatever you are doing, whether somebody has told you that you are doing something wrong, you are, doing, you are not doing it right, come back to God and find out what a relationship with God can do for you. The Bible says when the young man finally went back home, the father did not condemn him. He did not turn him away. But the father received him with compassion, with love. God is waiting for you and me with compassion. He wants to embrace you and me and give us the opportunity to have a relationship with him. A relationship that money could never give us. A relationship that your triple story home could never give you. It's time for satisfaction. It's time for fulfillment. It's time for change. It's time for you to discover what really you are all about. It's time for you to understand why are you really here? What is the purpose of your existence? Why are, you, why are you who you are? It's time for you to come back to the one who created you with that purpose. In his hand, there is your purpose. There is your destiny. You've been chasing after other things, hoping that they will help you to step into your destiny and fulfill your purpose. It's time for you to come to God because it is in God that you will find and discover your destiny and your purpose. This young man came back home, but he found his, his elder brother was not happy with him. He was not thrilled when he came back. Not many people are going to be thrilled with you trying to pursue God. The enemy is going to put all sorts of barriers and hindrances and stumbling blocks. He is going to remind you of how wrong you are, of your faults and your mistakes. People are going to tell you how bad you are, how bad you've been, and they'll try to hold you back. But this moment, I need to give you a message from our Father, the maker of all things, the creator of heaven and earth, the one who created you and me. He is calling you back home. He is saying, come back from the faraway country. Come back from where you have been abandoned by the lifestyle that you chose, by the, the mistakes that you made, the choices, that, the decisions that you have made. Come back to God. Come back to a love that will heal you. Come back to a, a, a presence that is going to satisfy you and fulfill you. Come back to your Father. It's time to come back home for each and every one of us. That is what time it is. Right now, that is what time it is. The time zone of God is saying, come back home. As a prodigal son, as a prodigal daughter, it's time to come back home. Come back to God. It doesn't matter what you have done. It doesn't matter what you have not done. It doesn't matter what mistake you have made. 
wherever you are, you might be deep into something that you are not happy about. Maybe for, for a, a moment it was good, but now it's no longer good. It's time to come back. Search yourself. Are you really satisfied with your life? Have you found fulfillment in what you've been pursuing, in what you've been chasing after, the lifestyle you've been hoping to, to find? Now that you've found it, have you found satisfaction? Even if you listen to this message and tell yourself that you want to continue pursuing what you are pursuing, on your own, you know how much you yearn for God. That deep desire that you have within you, where you are lonely. Sometimes you think you're lonely because you are single. You are not lonely because you're single. You're lonely because you need God. You are not, you are not where you are, dissatisfied, disappointed. Not because you don't have money. Money is not going to satisfy you. It's a good thing to have, but it's not going to satisfy you or fulfill you. It is God that will satisfy you. Come to a love that will fulfill you. A love that will give you peace. That will give you total fulfillment. God is waiting for you. Not with condemnation. Not with a pointing finger. He's not going to send you away. God is waiting for you so that he may open his arms and show you his compassion. You are loved. You are dearly loved. Come back to your father. No matter who you are, no matter what people have told you, no matter the mistakes that you have made, come back to God. God is looking for you. The Bible says, if you lose one sheep, you will leave the 99 to go and look for that one. If you've got 10 silver coins, if you lose one, you will sweep the whole house to look for that one. God is looking for you. You are that one that God is looking for. Come out of that lifestyle. Come out of that situation. Make a decision. Make a choice. Remove yourself from what is trying to, to drag you down. God is looking for you with an unconditional love. He chose you before you chose him. It's not about whether you are prayerful or not. It's about the fact that God chose and selected you and me. And as you come back to God, don't look to the left or to the right because you might find an elder brother, somebody that will behave like the elder brother to the prodigal son who tried to, to, to chase him away. Why? Because he did not understand the love that was between the father and the son. This call from God is between you and God. It has nothing to do with anybody else. Try God. If somebody has told you that your lifestyle is not good enough before God, come and hear it from God. If God tells you that you are not good enough, then you can give up. But if somebody else tells you that you're not good enough, don't turn away. Come until you find yourself at the throne room of grace and find the mercy, the grace, and the love that you're looking for. God wants to give you fulfillment and satisfaction in his love. And that love will help you to know what to accept and what not to accept. You are worthy of far much more than what you are accepting. Don't take your life for granted. Don't take your, 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 your existence for granted. You are important. You matter. Your life is important. And God wants to turn your life into something that will touch lives. You are a beautiful creation from God. Come back to God. God is waiting for you. No matter where you are, come back to God. I invite you, wherever you are, whatever you've been doing, when you listen to this message, I hope that your heart was receptive and you opened your heart to God to say, Father, I need you. You are what I've been looking for. I've been looking for a promotion. I have been chasing hard after a job opportunity. I've been looking for people. People have rejected me. People have turned away from me. I feel unloved. I feel lonely. I feel abandoned. Maybe I'm driving the car that I have always wanted to drive. 
I'm living in the house that I've always wanted to live in. Everything is perfect. Everything is good. But still, there is still something. I'm still looking. I'm still searching. I'm not satisfied yet. I'm not fulfilled. Before you take another step to look for the next thing to achieve. Because in life, when you achieve one thing, the next thing is itching for you to achieve it. But if you keep on chasing after things, you will realize that at the end of it all, what lies ahead of you is nothing but disappointment. Because it is in God that you will find your total fulfillment and satisfaction. I hope through this message, you will hear God calling you for the first time and maybe once more in your life. You will hear God speaking to you as a father speaks to a child and come back to God. Return to where you belong. In the, in the hands of God, in the presence of God, that's where you discover who you really are. Some of you have achieved a lot of things, but you have not achieved the very best that you could achieve in life. But you can achieve it if you come back to God. Just like the prodigal son, come back to God. Whoever you are, wherever you are, come back to God. Maybe your spiritual life is okay. Maybe you feel satisfied. Continue with your journey. There is far much more that, that God is keeping for you. You are important. You matter to God. Your name matters to God. Your life matters to God. Come back to your Father. He's waiting for you with compassion and with love. Follow me on uh, Facebook. Apostle Shelly Bianca Mlangeni. Um, I look forward to interact with you, to engage with you. Um, in the meantime, stay blessed and continue to pursue God. God is waiting for you. And there is a love relationship that far surpasses any love that you have ever experienced in your life. God bless you.